I'm Avery. I'm Emma. I'm Alexis. Mrs. Miles is out today because she is training at Cambridge for the Common Core Math Training. I hope she is having a good time. Let's check in to see how she's doing. Are you there? Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Miles and welcome to third grade reading day. I am so sorry but I could not be here today. I am in Cambridge at a Common Core Math Standard training. Um, this year Ohio has uh, just adopted some new standards so I'm learning how to better teach your child. So today you're here to find out exactly what do we do in third grade in order to help the students learn how to become better readers. Uh, because I'm not here, I thought it would be best for the students to tell you about it rather than our substitute trying to do it uh, for me. So, today the students have put together a news broadcast to give you the information that you need in order to see exactly how the third graders learn in here. Um, you'll see that some of them are traditional methods, but many of them are more uh, non-traditional approaches. Um, so we hope that you have a chance to uh, take a, get a good look into the classroom to see what we're doing. and. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day with your student. Let's find out how some of these third graders learn how to read better. Cut it out. Cut the side of the Jason, Jason, look at over the at the Jason, look around. There were all kinds of people on the bus. What? First, they thought he First we, first we pick a first grader, and then we, and second we help them we help them sound out words that they have trouble with. And third, then we just take an AR test. Now there you have it. Gage Al has told us how to, what steps we do in buddy. My name is Zayda and I'm here with Jaden and Michelle. We're gonna talk a little bit of, about when they read. Guy reading groups in third grade. What exactly is guy reading? Guy reading is when um, our teacher pulls us back and um, she'll give us stories to do and projects that we um, have to do for um, guided reading. Guided reading. reading. Tell us about these projects. We just got done reading seed surprises and this is one of our projects we did. Tell us about your reading project. We read a poem called, I remember, then we made a poster that somebody that's older than us, and then we, we compared what um, they, what was in now. And I'm here with Bryce. He's learning how to do words with more than one meaning. Bryce, what are biophotics? They are photos that help you read. How many strategies do you have? Back to you, Avery. Thank you, Ziva. That sounds like a fun way to read. I even hear they are using art to teach reading. I think they heard that, too. Yeah, somebody told me about that, too. Thanks, Alexis. And I'm here with Jaylin. Now tell me, well, what do you have here? We're learning about characters and character traits. This is me, and here's my name. For J, I did Joker. For A, I did Awesome. For E, I did Eager. For L, I did Loud. For Y, I did Juice. For N, I did Noisy. So what do you think about that, Avery? That sounds fun to learn by painting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's check in with Blake and see what they're doing. Hey, I'm Blake, and I'm here with Gabby and Colton. What is that thing you guys have there? We have a, a versatile, and we're using it for reading. Is you read the question, you, you take the number, and you... You look for the right answer, and then you put it, say if it was D, you, if it's right, it will match the design on the picture. Hmm. He's the everyday reading. He practiced reading on the workboard, too. So what is, what do you do? Blah, 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 blah. Um, we do special activities, like, um, 
um, listening center, fire hoarders, and special activity. What kind of special activity do you like do? Like painting, crafts, and art. What do you do at the listening center? We listen to new stories. I know third graders that are reading to learn, but what about those kids who are still learning to read? I'm sure they have some strategies they use. Let's check in with Miley because she's with a group of kids who are going to share some of those strategies. I'm Miley and I'm here with Colin, Jacob, Brandon, and McKenna. They are learning to do strategies. So what are some of the strategies do you do? When I come to a word I don't know, I stop if it doesn't look right or sound right or make sense. So, Fanzer, what do you do? Sometimes I just look at the picture. And what do you do? Sometimes I pull up the word, like parts of the word, and I sound wet it out. <coughs> and what do you do, Jacob? Sometimes I skip to a word and go back to it. So there you have it, some bullying strategies. Back up, back to the studio. We just got a news alert that third grade is using music to learn about story elements. Well, that sounds fun to me. They are learning, they are also learning how to read with lyrics. Let's listen to third grade class sing the story element song.
that you are going to be helping your child with today um, is focused all around the story elements. Now they've been learning about the three basic parts of a story, which are characters, the setting, and the plot. And so what they're going to do is they have to create a story using those elements. Now, talking about the plot, there are many um, elements to the plot. So to help them understand what those elements are, every student is going to be given a freezer bag. And in the freezer bag are dice. So whenever they get that, it's called roll a story. And this is going to help them identify those elements and it'll allow them to put their own twist on their own story. So <clears throat> they're going to uh, roll the dice. So once they roll the dice, they have to add the two dice together. So three plus three is six. And they're going to look at the first category on the worksheet, which is the character, who are you? So I'm going to look for the number six and on this paper it is a singer in a popular band. So that would be their character. Now, they can decide if that's going to be the protagonist, which is the good guy, or maybe they want them to be the antagonist, which would be like the bad guy or villain. Okay, so once they have found their character, they're going to move to the next one, which is the setting. So we're going to roll the dice again, and we have three plus one, which is four. So on the paper, I'm going to look for the number four, and it says in outer space. So this story is going to take place, my story is going to take place in outer space. Okay, the next box will be the problem. What is the problem in this store in their particular story? So I'm gonna roll the dice. I have five plus one. I'm going to look for the number six for the problem, which is you must save an endangered sea turtle. Okay, so I'm in a rock band, and my problem is I'm trying to save this endangered turtle. Okay, the next thing, it's going to give me some other details about my character and what they have. Uh, I have six plus four, so six plus four is ten. So I'm going to look at number ten on the paper, and it says I, I have ten pounds of peanuts. So my character has ten pounds of peanuts. Now, how I put that in the story is totally up to the writer, um, and it'll vary based on what they rule anyhow. So then the last box is whom or what do you meet? So this might be my antagonist, but what they'll end up doing after they have um, their story all rolled, they're going to take those pieces and they're going to put it on their story map. And the story map has a place where they put the genre, which they do not have to answer this until the very end because depending on how what direction the story goes in, it could be a fantasy story, a fantasy fiction story, it might be a realistic fiction, depends on what they roll. And then they can decide to give it a title at, at the completion also. The author, of course, would be their name and your name. And then they'll put down the setting of when and where. And then the characters, they have two spots for their characters. They have a spot for protagonist. And I need some characteristics with that. So I need to know a little bit about their personality. And then an antagonist, who is the bad guy? And if you had to describe them, what words would you use? And then at the bottom, we have the plot diagram, which their story should have a beginning, middle, and end. Of course, the problem should be introduced at the beginning, and of course, the solution will be introduced at or uh, concluded at the end. Well, that's today's edition of Third Grade. Have a great day.